Hi, this is Black Cloud Infotech. We are going to see another IBM Cognos Report Studio demo. This time, we are into cross tabs with multiple measures and some added features. So, create a report and we are going to use GoData Warehouse Analysis, the demo package of IBM, which is a DMR package. Create new report with cross tab template and the cross tab and the package are open now. Navigate into the sales and marketing folder under the sales namespace. Select the product line level from the product hierarchy which is under the product dimension and place it in the rows section of the cross tab. Then the time dimension inside the time hierarchy year level is being taken into the column section. Now instead of adding into the measure section we are going to add the measures into the column section itself because we need to use more than one measure. Select revenue, place it under here. Select the plan revenue, place it next to the revenue. Just make it center so that uh, easier for us to read it. The purpose of the report is to calculate the target percentage achieved by each product line, product type and products. So we select revenue by pressing control. We select the plan revenue also so that we can use the calculation icon to create a calculation percentage of revenue in planned revenue. So once this is created, so we can the calculation. We need to do some changes for the names and all. So we go to the query explorer and open the query one and select the calculation what we have created here. And the calculated measure name, I'm going to give it as target percentage. You can change names in the property also, but I prefer to change it in this manner. So it will be there all, all the time. Then I go back to the page where I need to create the total of revenue, planned revenue. So I select the product line, go to the summarization and select total. Here. Then we need to do some formatting. So borders I am creating here. So everywhere I create borders separately so that uh, it may look a little nicer. Then I use the border for different colors for different columns. So first I use uh, green color for the revenue. Select all the rows on this column by pressing control. You can change the color over here, borders icon. Then for the target also, I select a different color with uh, border. Then double click the title and provide a title, revenue versus planned revenue. So we'll check how our report looks like, run the report in HTML format. You can see that the planned revenue, revenue, the target are all showing for four years and for the five available product lines. But the problem is in the total, the target percentage also is get totaled, which is not correct. So we need to modify some properties. Select the target percentage and go to the properties, go to the property called solve order and we are going to set the solve order for this one. Solve order is used to tell the system that which column should be calculated first, which column should be calculated next. So we assume that we have one and two are revenue and planned revenue. The target should be calculated on the third time. So we give three over here. Anything more than three will be accepted. So now we run it over here again. And you can see that now the percentage on total also is coming up correctly. So the next thing is I want to change revenue and planned revenue along with total in millions. I want to show them in millions units. So I select all the four columns here and go to properties data format. Select the currency format type. and Select the scale for minus six. So once you have selected minus six, now it won't show it in single units. It will be shown in millions. The next thing is I want to highlight the product line so that based on the target achieved, I'll be highlighting them in different colors. So right click 
style condition style so this can be achieved by conditional styles so create a new conditional style we have to select based on which data item we create the conditions so target is the data item i selected the target contain percentage so i give the percentage here not just 99 i give 0.99 so that that will be used internally in the calculation then 0.95 another slab then 0.90 now above 0.99 that means that above 99 percentage all my product lines products where everything will be shown in green background the next thing is below 0.99 and above 0.95 these are all shown in blue background then which are all between 90 to 95 percentage will be shown on some light yellow color then the foreground also i change this to black so that it will be clearly visible so let's check how it looks like now so this is your result report here you are seeing that all the revenue plan revenue everything has been displayed in millions and dollar symbol is also proceeding now then we have personal accessories mountaineering equipment are in different color than the other product lines based on the values which are all available in the target so this is your report now not at finished finally what we are going to do we need to mention that uh, these are all showing the figures in tech millions so we have to put millions and uh, the currency is us dollars finally we go to the data drill behavior and uh, allow drill up drill down is checked it completed now you see the final report so we have revenues planned revenue report is available you click personal accessories you go to the next level that is the product types under the personal accessories will be view and you can see different colors coming up here based on the values of the target so we have different colors blue color shows that we have more than 95 percentage and the yellow color shows that we have less than 95 and more than 90. So you can go further down and you can see all the products which are all available under binoculars. So you can see all the colors over here. So that's the thing. This is the way we create a cross tab with multiple measures and also we insert a calculation and we are changing the solve order to do the calculation properly and we are creating a conditional style so that uh, the products can be highlighted based on the target thank you for watching and we'll meet in some other demo from black cloud infotech